Okay, I'm going to show you how to install and, and use the Google Drive app for your iPads. Uh, you will go to your app store and in your app store in order to search for something you need to tap on the featured thing down here at the bottom. So I'm going to tap on featured and now you'll see the search field open up in this top right corner. So you'll tap that and you'll type in Google Drive and here's the Google Drive app. Download this one. The G Drive for Google Drive is some third party app. I really don't know what that is. Um, if you tap on the app, you can scroll around and see uh, how big the file size of the app is um, and get a few screenshots if you want to do that. Uh, right here, this spot right here is where your um, install button will be. Mine is a cloud because I previously downloaded this and I deleted it from my iPad to make this video. So I'm going to click that cloud and it will install and uh, yours I think it will have a I think it says free in green and then when you tap it it gives you the option to install I, I really can't remember but install the app and this is a 30 megabyte file which shouldn't take too long unlike the days of AOL and dial-up internet and see the bad thing is is this recording program doesn't give me the option to pause while it's downloading so we'll just have to sit here and Watch it for a second. Mm -hmm. All right. I think it's, I don't know what it's doing. I shouldn't pretend to know. Oh, hey, it just moved. Back in the days of dial-up internet, this would have been about a five hour download. There we go. Um, now it gives you the option to open it from the app store. Uh, I don't want to open it just yet. I'm going to tap done up here in the top left hand corner and then hit my home button to go back to my um, desktop on the iPad. And here is Google Drive right here. And what I want to do is move it to my front page. I'm looking at my dots down here and I can see I'm on the third page of apps. So um, I'm going to hold that down and if you don't know how to rearrange your icons um, to do it let me do that again uh, to get your icons into jiggly mode you press down an icon and you simply hold it until they all start to jiggle this is how you can delete apps or move them around now I'm gonna push my finger down on Google Drive and I'm gonna drag it all the way to the left side and now it'll go to the second page and now I'm to the first page and I will drop it there I'll hit the home button to get out of jiggly mode and here I'm ready to use Google Drive, so I will tap the app icon to open it. And I think it gives you like a little introduction thing. Yeah, welcome to Google Drive. And it gives you a few things that you can um, swipe through and read very briefly what it does. It doesn't really tell you a whole lot. So I'm going to tap the Get Started icon. And here's where you will log in. Now, again, I can't pause this or blur anything out, so you're going to see my password, which I change my password just for this video and as soon as I'm through with the video I am going to um, change my password back to what it originally was so hcsstudents.net I'm going to show you a little secret about the iPad that a lot of you may not have known um, if you hold I need to type in .net now that really doesn't take too long but a little shortcut that some of y'all probably don't know is if you need to type in like .net or .com or dot one of those traditional dot things at the end of an address. If you hold down the period button, it will pop up with all the options. You have .NET, org, com, us, and edu. Uh, so I'm just going to, while I'm holding my finger down, go to .NET, and there's .NET. Now I will type in my special password just for this video. And as soon as I'm through recording, I'm going to change it back. All right, and so now I'm logged in. It says, thanks for using Google Drive. Um, it says, do you want to send anonymous usage data and crash reports? This is not going to affect how the app works. It's just how much you want to share with Google. Do you want them to know how you're using it and how it crashes? And they use that information to try to develop updates or if there's a security um, breach or something, they'll use that to um, decide how they're going to update the app. I personally don't like to do this, so I'm going to hit no. You can hit yes if you want. And now here we are. We're in our Google Drive. Um, Interface is a little bit different than if you were just on the inter uh, internet, but you can tap on any of your folders and you can see some of your documents. 
Um, now, one thing I'm not sure of, I haven't played with this a whole lot, I'm not sure if you can edit things. Um, like a Word document, like here's my AB syllabus, my syllabus for calculus AB. If I tap on that, it will open it. Um, and as far as I know, you're not going to be able to edit it. So you can just read it on your iPad. You're not going to be able to do any work. If you want to export it into another program, this top, this arrow up here in the top right corner, if you tap that, um, it gives you the option to open it in. And then it will give you some uh, other apps that you can send it to if you want to do some kind of work. It, it, you're not going to be able to do a whole lot. It's not like editing it in uh, Microsoft Word. So there you are. You can go through and look at it. If you click on a Google document like uh, the test study list right here, that is a Google document. I know that because it doesn't have the W under it. It has a, bl a blue block. If I tap that, um, they may give you the option of editing this because, yeah, this is a Google Doc. It's not a Word document. So I actually have the option of adding things to a Google document from the drive. You simply can't add things or edit a Word document or anything else that's from Microsoft Office. So um, things studied for your test. Um, math. They probably should study some math this year. And so there is, there you are. You're in Google Drive. So I'm done. Let me close it. And that saves automatically. And you can go through and you can view things that are shared with you. Um, hmm, I could have sworn I had some things shared with me. That's interesting. Um, here's a few of them. I know math department stuff is shared. Uh, Mr. Sandlin sent that out to everybody in the math department. The school startup is what Kathy Bailey shared with us. And so this is just a quick, easy way that you can go through and view the files that are in your Google Drive. So there you go. Um, comes in handy, especially like faculty meetings and stuff where you can easily pull things up and, and see it right in front of you rather than squinting to read things off of a slide. So that is your Google Drive app.